Today, I'm talking about the new options for the Polar Pro Basecamp Matte Box. This video is sponsored by Polar Pro and they sent me these products for review for this video. So thank you so much Polar Pro for doing that. I've only ever used diffusion and ND filters that screw on to the end of lenses and this system just hits in a totally different way. So let's just break down what they sent me. A matte box, a circle polarizer, variable ND filter, a circle blue morphic polarizer for anamorphic flare emulation, which I'm really stoked to share in this video, a mist diffusion filter, and a mist heavy diffusion filter for all the vibes. They also have standard ND filters along with the variable and mist, as well as graduated ND uh, and a circle gold morphic polarizer as well with that anamorphic emulation. This new lineup is very clearly set up to mix and match different looks, which I'm like very into. <laughs> Whenever I look to get new gear, I'm always thinking of how it'll improve the quality of my work first, but honestly, more importantly to me, I care about how it's gonna motivate me to be more creative with the work that I make. Now, me being me, I automatically start to think about how I could use this in maybe like a photo camera and actually get the anamorphic flair in photography. It might look weird when I'm shooting with it, but it could get pretty epic, so. So why have a matte box? Why not just do the screw-on filters? Well, it's easier to swap out ND and diffusion into the box instead of screwing it onto the lens. You get less flaring, especially with the French flag on top, less vignetting and more coverage across the front element of the lens. And honestly, it just makes you look more legit. I typically don't like to look at gear from this perspective, but honestly, whenever I see a matte box on a camera, I automatically assume the level of quality to be much higher and professional. You don't have to have rails on your rig to put this specific base camp model on. There's a series of screw-on adapters that mount to the front element of your lens that go straight into the circular back that help you tighten it and put it on uh, the camera, on the lens actually. Let's break down the variable ND first and what they sent me. So it has a polarized filter on the front. Uh, you need the words facing up when you drop it into the circle part of the matte box. Combined with the ND filter, the variable ND filter that goes in in front of it and when you twist it, it changes the exposure which is wild when you do it like this. And that gives you variable ND. Now this is great for any camera and I highly recommend variable ND. And it's even cooler in a camera like the C200 because you have built-in ND. So you could keep your settings exactly the same um, and then just dial it in with this variable ND on the front. So for example, if I'm outside on a sunny day, I could shoot at noon, uh, noon sun with 180 degree shutter, 1.8, 800 native ISO because I can stop down with the internal ND and then dial it in exactly how I want with that variable ND within Basecamp. And if you have the variable ND with mist or mist heavy, you can get functionality of limitless ND options as well as that hazy filmic look. So they also carry this variable ND with the mist built in. I just don't have that one. Now let's break down why I titled the video the way it is with this blue morphic polarizer that gives you that anamorphic look. I was skeptical if this would work, but I was actually pleasantly surprised uh, for the first time I threw it on the camera. People are always looking for ways to sell that anamorphic look without having to buy and or adapt insanely expensive anamorphic lenses or rent those out. Without going into great detail, people love the anamorphic look for its depth of field, the 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio and that sweet sweet jj abrams style blue flaring that you get when the light shines into the lens the circular filter which is actually on my camera that's filming me right now has lines all the way through it to get that traditional horizontal flare but you can kind of spin it in any direction to get flaring the way you want so you could start playing around with it once it's in your matte box to try that out and you cannot use this in conjunction with a variable nd filter but if you have a camera like the c200 you can still use your internal nd but without it you'll need to stop down your aperture decrease your iso to compensate otherwise you can use um, polar pro standard ND that you could slide into the matte box in front or graduated ND into the matte box to adjust for that light. You can also put a multitude of other options in the matte box in combination with the blue morphic. So for example, their mist or mist heavy or any graduated ND for landscapes can be mixed and matched. So it's super fun to uh, try all those combinations out together. I'd love to try the gold morphic because they say it's similar in function to the blue morphic, just warmer in feel, which I like a lot. So I hope that this video was at least interesting to you and I don't often do gear 
peer reviews, but this one just felt way too good to pass up. I'm really looking forward to using Basecamp in a future commercial work, YouTube videos and wedding films, all the stuff that I do. And just remember that gear will never make you better. You're in control of that. But gear can motivate and inspire you to make new and creative things that you may never have thought of otherwise or dreamt of otherwise. Quiet. I want to know what force holds this together I want to feel the faith But hold it at a distance I want to know the truth about my life Surrounded by the ordinary sorrow Take that for what it's worth, continue to lean into what makes you different, and I will catch you in the next video. That's how however everyone finishes videos. No, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in a better way, in a more regal and dignified manner. Goodbye.